Hey guys, welcome back to Boogeyman's Nightmare. It's me, Boogeyman. I uh, just wanted to give a few uh, updates on my Bell Palsy Disorder. Um, I've lost basically motor control when it comes to my face muscles, but it's not that big of a worry. I have been doing exercises, and Ashlyn, my fiance, she's been uh, doing uh, massages to my face to help stimulate it. So uh, hopefully after uh, everything's said and done, I'll start getting motor control back. But other than that, I wouldn't really worry about it. Also, um, I decided if it's okay with you guys to call you my minions as subscribers. That way, because basically you're following me, the boogeyman, and him having minions to follow him. And if that's okay with you guys. If, if not, just send me a message and I'll do my best to try to come up with another idea. I wanted to share this video with you guys because I got a loot crate for the first time and I have it upside down. <laughs> Watching myself through the video trying to make sure I'm doing everything right. And it's supposed to be a, like a time traveler's pack. And it's supposed to have uh, stuff from like Doctor Who, Bill and Ted, Back to the Future, uh, and maybe some more. So for the first time, I was uh, this is my first time buying it. And I'm actually kind of disappointed on the way the box looks. Because it's a big wear and tear right here. And on top of that, it looked like uh, another package of some sort that while it was on its way to deliver here looked like it's like you know just cram packed against it so hopefully everything's okay inside but and this is the loot crate for October 15th or October 15th October 2015 and uh, I'm gonna go and open up for the first time and so let's see what's inside well, that's cool we got Doc from Back to the Future and it looks like an, if I wanted to I can also get Marty McFly yeah, uh, if I wanted to collect these but that's that's pretty cool now I got a reason to say we need to go back. <laughs> I did get a shirt. Not all loot crates come with shirts. They just uh, when, or you're signing up, they do ask for a shirt size. That way you can, uh, uh, if you do end up getting a sh uh, shirt or some sort of clothing wear, they'll have it ready. And it's the Bill and Ted. Be excellent to each other. That's awesome. Can't wait to actually wearing that shirt. <laughs> and I understand for some people it's kind of a bad movie but to me I grew up on it and uh, I actually really enjoyed it and I still enjoy it Ashlyn gets annoyed when I watch it but I don't care <laughs> got another thing from Back to the Future Part 2 it says it's hoverboard a scale replica oh that's awesome and I got a uh, card in that says this document certifies this one device scale replica of the Back to the Future 2 Hoverboard was created by Quantum Mechanics Incorporated under license from Universal Pictures exclusively for Loot Crate. And the CEO signed it, Andy Gore of QMX. And uh, Chris Davis also signed it as the CEO of Loot Crate. So we're gonna, if you wanna see it, sorry for the bad quality, I'm doing my best with what I have. But yeah, there's the certification. I'm gonna open this up and show you guys the hoverboard. That's cool. Now that's the hoverboard. Uh, can't wait to whenever we actually get into the future where we get to use hoverboards, but until then, I guess it's the best we can get to. I know Google has been talking about, uh, that they actually have a hoverboard ready. It's just that uh, the production for it looks going to be way too expensive. So it's just not best to put it in, in production as of right now. So, we still got our hopes up though. We got the technology for it. The next thing I got is from uh, Doctor Who. It says Sonic Spork. And I have a feeling it's a Sonic screwdriver replica that's a spork. If I can open this up. Oh, there we go. It doesn't have to be open. I can just slide it. Oh, that's awesome. I know a few friends are going to be jealous of this. It's like the Sonic Screwdriver, but I can eat. That's cool. Okay, those things will move. It looked like it moved from the top. But that's awesome. I'm actually not going to really eat with this. So I'm, I'm going to keep it safe. But that, that's that's pretty cool. I'm going to go and put that back. There we go. Right. Oh. Uh... Oh, that's cool. It's a little, uh, oh, what are these things called? Button? Pin button? Yeah. And it has the time flex on the front of it. That's cool. 
And uh, in parentheses it says, we love you. And overall it says, Luke Crate, October 2015, with a dash time. And for the final thing inside, uh, it's a magazine. Um, basically a welcoming time travelers. Has a bunch of stuff in here from uh, a bunch of people. A uh, little message from the Loot Crate team. Uh, I'll read it for you guys. Welcome, time traveler. Since you started reading this, you've traveled a bit into the future. This That's scientific fact. Probably. <laughs> this month's theme is time. And quite approximately, we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future in the month and year Marty McFly travels to the Back to the Future Part 2. The timeless appeal of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure and the timey-wimey charm of Doctor Who. We're trying out new things this month, mostly additional content like this personal message to you, our beloved looter. Sorry about that. You'll see new types of articles, fresh design ideas, and more information all around. Let us know what you think. And it gives the email, and then until next time, Team Loot Crate. And it has a bunch of little things of ideas, what they may be doing later. There's a cosplay, cosplaying the crate. Like you can basically, uh, it gives you uh, what you need to dress up as uh, the people for Bill and Ted's costume checklist, Marty McFly checklist, costume tips. Now you're doing a giveaway for a mega crate which has over 2,000 items worth of stuff. Or $2,000 worth of items of stuff. So that's going to be pretty cool. But just, it's, just, it's just basically a big pro brochure and all that. Uh, and there's this. Yeah, that was a pretty good uh, quote they give from Back to the Future. And there's something on the back of here. Oh, that's cool. It's a little checklist type, or a little uh, branch list where you basically get to see what type of doctor you are in the end. And it just shows a little bit of uh, different stuff and ideas. And it has a little thing that shows what cut, which what, which ideas actually uh, came to be for Back to the Future, and which ones didn't make it. Uh, and just basically a little bit of what's next and all. So I, I find that pretty cool. That, that's really cool. Oh, and the box. That's awesome. As you can see, Bill and Ted, whenever they're doing the final uh, scene, whenever they're talking about all the people that they brought with them. And to the to the side right here, you can uh, see the Delor DeLorean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. I want to make sure I was pronouncing it right. And on this side, you can see the Doctor Who's uh, time traveling box. That's pretty cool. Yeah, TARDIS. Sorry guys, I'm just, it's really hard to focus. <laughs> that stuff. And just on top is lighting. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do I do enjoy what, what I was given. It's just, uh, I'm kind of not satisfied on how the box itself, on how it's uh, durability came to me. That's honestly one of the first packet, packages I've ever gotten in a long while that kind of had a wear and tear to it. So hopefully the next time when I get a loot crate, it's not as bad. But I'll go ahead and talk to you later. Uh, minions and uh, I'll see you in the next video